Hello, and welcome back to another episode of White Album 2. We are currently playing through Coda. And what a mess it really is. So, after completely ruining a dinner with Setsuna's family, they were like, are you engaged? And they're like, uh, kinda, not really. It was just super awkward. And then he went home with Kazusa the same night. They did the do, and it's just, it, everything is sad. So this part I think is really important. Kazusa really wants Haruki to lie and to keep lying to Setsuna because she doesn't want the facade to fail. So let's continue from here. But you're not going to lie to me. Why don't you lie to me? Why don't you lie to me? It's okay. 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 God, and this is just so sad too. <laughs> F. <laughs> because she wants this. I mean, who who wouldn't? This is what she wants. She wants to be told that she's loved. So she's like, let's practice lying. Tell me you love me. That's the worst. That's so bad. Oh my. Oi is right. Kazusa's suggestion was, after all, completely unreasonable and forced. What she's saying is already contradicting her words from just a few seconds ago. But again, this is a horrible lie because, yeah, Haruki has his place with Setsuna to go back to. What does Kazusa have? Right? She doesn't have much to go back to. This is her utopia right now. Of course, she wants more than just this, but. <sighs> The devil puts all her feelings into her, into her whispers to me, and seductively shackles me. だから、ハルケ。頑張れ。お前は嘘をつくんだ。嘘を。私にかける言葉を私にすること真実だなんて思うな。お前の真実はずっと昔から切なだけだ。She's trying so hard to give him an out. Like, you can say it. It's not real. I know it's not real. You can lie. Like, she knows it's not a lie. Kazusa is clinging to me. She is pouring all her strength into embracing me. It's not just her words. Her body gently binds me too. A ceremony to separate our words and bodies from our feelings. What I'm about to say next won't come from my mind nor my heart. It will only be the product of neural signals making my mouth move. Ha! I should try using this excuse <laughs> next time I need an excuse. What an awful, stupid thought. I'm about to say things without thought, without worry, and without regret. Skida. Skida yo. Yo, 
好きだこれで大丈夫愛してるもう私お前の嘘見破れないよ離れたくない見破りたくないよ愛してる愛してる、oh. カズさん Things are getting way too real, way too fast. Like, this is not healthy. If I were a therapist, which I'm not, but if I were a therapist, I'd be like, you guys need to stop immediately. Like, this is not, <laughs> this is not good for the mental health. Kazusa lays her entire body on me. I don't know whether it was her who pushed herself down against me, or if I pulled her toward me, and it doesn't really matter. These poor, poor people. <laughs> Because it's all a lie. What we'll do from now on will be nothing but a conditional reflex. What a very convenient lie. Really? Oh. 軽く引く分にはもう痛くないそれって完治はしてないってことじゃ大丈夫だよ別に焦ってない今週はリハビリ程度にしてペース上げるのは来週からだそうそれならいいけど二度も無様な姿を晒すわけにはいかないからな安全に確実に本番に備えるよこの前のコンサートも準備自体は完璧だったけどね。いや、it was just what happened at the concert that ruined things。大丈夫だよ。今度は失敗しない。絶対にだ。そう。この前とは。違うよ。よ<笑>本当に。いいの。何度同じこと聞くんだ。いつの間にそんな心配性になったコンサートのことじゃなくてそのモチベーションのこと That's a good safe way to phrase things, yeah どういう意味結局白黒つけずに灰色を選んだみたいだからしかも期間限定の<笑>どこから聞いた、oh、God, cause us out the little baby hands This is like the worst sprite in the game <laughs> 誰も話はしないわよだからこうして当事者たちの反応から推測してるわけあ,あ,あなたもギター君も嘘つくの下手すぎ私には通じないわよ<笑>まあ娘の色恋沙汰に深く介入する気はないけどしてるよあんたすっごい楽しんでるだろうじゃあ介入ついでにもう一言玉砕も突破もしないなんてそんなふうに人生逃げちゃっていいの That's true. They're kind of in limbo right、now. あんただって逃げただろあたしを産んだ時別に子供一人くらい産んで育てるのは楽勝だって思ってたからね、huh. All by myself. What a horrible lie that is. Absolutely not. You left your daughter with a caretaker for years. So, no, I knew I saw the take out a match. I got it. I don't know. Rage and we're all God, that makes me so mad. I didn't know Jinsei or Kosa and I eat the Haido or Hyoka Suriki. So, did you bring a coarse and similar? Kitchen to get Jack Skizzy, Tata Ichido Nasaki or Kaka to Murata Dakede. No, Gorino Jinsei. 
なんでそんな先のことまで考えなくちゃならないんだあなたの私と違うからよ新しい恋も新しい男も見つけられるか怪しいからよ男なんかいなくても家庭なんか持たなくてもちゃんとあんたの老後の面倒くらい見るよ安心しろ私が心配してるのは自分の老後じゃなくてあなたの老後なんだけどねそれも大丈夫だろうどうせあんたは私が死んでもまだ生きてるって人のことどんなヴァンパイアだと思ってるのよ体に気をつけて長生きしてくれよ私のためにもさまずさ頼むよ母さん全勝するわよ死に物狂いで生きるつもりああそうしてくれ夜中に飲み歩いて若い男の血を吸ってついでに銀で全身ピカピカに飾って<笑> They really did use the word sparkle there which I think is very funny ピカピカあなたは親に対する尊敬の念が全然足りてないと思うのよね。えー、それでは、とうとうやらかした北原春樹くんと、愚かにも一生ものの貧乏くじを引いてしまった小木曽節那さんの今後の幸せを記念して、<笑> Fallen for the biggest scam in the world. I know that's not how he meant it, but this is like the most accurate line in the whole game. Oi, Mate. Masaka no Koyako, Omedo, Kampai! Kampai! We all raise our classes to Takeya's unusually cheerful speech. Not on the weekend, but on the evening of Wednesday. TGIW, thank God it's Wednesday. As soon as I was about to leave work, I got a phone call from Takea, who sounded extremely serious. He told me there was something he absolutely had to consult with me about, and that it had to be today, so I headed to the bar as he told me to without a clue. Of course, before that, I sent the number one to the answering machine back home. Haruki! Haruki! Yokata! Yokata! Omae! Masaka, go na higa! Tony kura da te na! Oh, the more happy everybody is, the more uncomfortable I start to feel. Omae, <laughs> ikinari sake ni yoak na ta na. Zenzen sake no se ja nai desu yo. Dat te mizu sawa sa. Kanpai mai kara me ma akka da ta mo. どうも言うな言うなってあでも今日は何言われてもいいか<笑>いいよ I came in expecting to see Takeya sitting alone with a sour look on his face but found no such thing How sad is it though that your best friend in the world has to lie to you to get you to hang out with him you know It's so sad Instead, I heard the chatter of a woman with a rather masculine voice, and when I turned to it, I saw Takea and his old friend sitting at a table. Also, her voice isn't masculine at all, even for Japanese standards. I hate that they always, like, strongly push the idea that Io is so masculine. It seems they've planned a surprise party. Haruki-kun. Sorry. Again, you shouldn't have to apologize. Everyone should just be enjoying this day. Even though she's snuggling up to me in her seat as usual, there is a noticeable hesitation in her voice and expression. Yeah, why does she always have to dance on eggshells during every little thing? Your family finding out about your engagement, your friends hanging out, she's like, oh, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, is this okay? Like, can we tell people? Can I, can I refer to you as my family? Like, it's so pathetic. さっき突然イオに呼び出されたの急ぎで相談したいことがあるって言うからてっきり2人きりだと思ったのにああ So we fell for the exact same trick 高博が竹谷君に変なこと話したみたいでそれでこんなことになっちゃって別に刹那のせいじゃんというか誰も悪いことなんかしてないだろ
ーだけどみんな俺たちを祝おうって集まってくれたんだ誰が謝る必要があるんだよハルキくん This all started in the Ogiso household last week. The situation with the ring spread from Takahiro to Takeya, and after that, it kept spreading faster than the speed of light. The facts became truth, a promise became a binding contract, and everything just continued to develop even more quickly than I expected. Yo be das in his demo, and the shoe mats in his shine. Because what's in his go to Mongardo? No one's gonna listen if he's like, Haruki, come out with us Friday night. He'd be like, No, sorry, I'm busy. No, I'm not coming. Especially now with Kazusa. Dotte, shoe mats are not gonna go to Kurena in the moon. Daddy Tomo. So, so, Kinyo no Yoruka, do you know your crime? Are they? Don't stomach in the skeleton in the name. <laughs> Although I will say, Io has the perfect like sarcasm or sarcastic voice down. Very, very cute, very funny. A little bit infeminate, but really adorable. So, <laughs> Also, what a horrible listen. If I was engaged and my fiance was like, it's not set in stone. Oh my god. Oh, that'd be the end of it. Are you kidding me? この話になると、セツナのおじさん、ものすごく機嫌悪くなっちゃってさ。全然聞いてくれそうな気配がないんだよ。え?だから説得するのもう少しかかりそう。あ、セツナ。ハルキ。At the sight of my bitter smile as I asked her, Setsuna's eyes opened wide. Because it was the first time I had made a decisive statement on the matter. Before, I had always been really vague about the prospect. Imagine such a dumb, cowardly sentence making her so happy. Because that's the only little tidbit he gives her. ねえねえ、なんて言って申し込んだの今ここで再現してみてよ。その指輪、いくらした給料何ヶ月分でお答えください。まさかとは思うが、急がなくちゃならない理由とかないよな。上から順に。パス1、パス2、竹谷、お前ちょっと表出ろ。北原さん危険で、せっちゃんに回答権移りました。では、答えをどうぞ。え、え。プロポーズの言葉。給料何ヶ月分今何ヶ月ちょ、ちょっと、
せつなちゃんああもう完全に落ちちゃったな<笑>いいよこのままにしといてやって Well, snuggling up to me like always. Or rather, she finally decided to lean against me and started dozing off. Listen, though, if you can fall asleep in the middle of a Japanese izakaya, like a restaurant bar, you must be very wasted because they are very lively and very loud. そういえば先月初めて泊まりの出張行ってきたんだってね帰ってきてからずっとテンション高かった気がする The sleeping face of Setsuna resting on my shoulder is adorable enough to make anyone smile even if they didn't want to Even though it's supposed to be a celebration we find ourselves lowering our voices でもそれってさ舞い上がってたの本当に仕事のせいなのかなうーん今になってみるといろいろと怪しいところあるよねつい最近刹那のテンションを左右する劇的なきっかけがあったことは今日この場で証明されたわけなんですけど you guys are actually pretty spot on. でも明らかに出張の前後で態度が違ったんだよだからてっきり仕事でうまくいったのかとつまりその劇的なきっかけは。セツナが出張している最中に起きたのは間違いないとでも大阪だよセツナがいたの東京じゃないんだよ大阪ですよね片道3時間くらいですよね<笑><笑>こっち見るな This isn't the first time these girls' intuition has given me pause, but right now it's almost terrifying. They're scary. That's actually scary. Yeah, but it's a l あからさまに逃げようとしてますがそういう態度がますます疑惑をかきたてるって分かってんのかねお,お前ら諦めろ今のお前のミスだどうせなら開き直って何もかもぶちまけるべきだったな竹山で It would seem that today's party isn't something that I'm going to be relieved of so easily じゃあどこ行こうかとりあえず朝まで飲めるところがいいよな If this goes any longer then the number I sent her will have to change from one I'll be late to two I can't come home today うーんでも私今月ピンチなんですよねだからなるべく低予算で済ませたいんですけどそうかなら君はせつなと一緒に帰だからお酒買って北原さんの部屋に行きませんえ Oh yeah, great idea, very cost efficient あそこ大学に近いし朝まで飲んでそのまま出かければちょうどいいしねねおおその手があったか Setsuna can lay down on the bed, it's perfect for almost everyone いいね久しぶりに夜通し騒ごっか大学の時以来だもんねい,いやちょっと待て The conversation flowing in this direction was completely natural and had no ulterior motive If anything it was the kind of idea I've come to expect from these imprudent friends But that natural flow of conversation was fatal for me because the way I am now I'm not really normal at all じゃあ早速移動するかもうめんどいからタクシーで行っちゃおうこの時間に金払うところが社会人だよねできれば私の割り勘分は学割か免除でお願いしたいんですけど<笑>ちょっとわおでもでもさ今部屋めちゃくちゃ散らかってるし It's almost midnight I can't just out of nowhere text her a four leave the apartment tonight 
なあ片付けなら任せてくださいタクシー代やお酒代の代わりにこの私が嘘に決まってるよそんなの春樹の部屋が散らかってるわけなんかないだろう。True very true 寝てる暇があったら整理整頓してるようなやつだからな<笑> And even if I managed to get in contact with her If we were to run into her exiting my apartment? Sa, Ikima Shou Yokita Hara san. So let o more? Oka ni nanika komaru koto de mo? Takea and Io, who were in the same grade as her back then, should be able to see through her disguise. Yame yo yo, Mina. Choto hashagi sugi da yo. And of course, Setsuna has to come save the day from Haruki's lame self. <laughs> the fatal situation that I had brought upon myself in my carelessness was resolved with a simple, calm sentence. Setsuna. Setsuna woke up from her nap, but she still looked sleepy. Not even allowed to have like a super fun celebration night. It's just so. It's such a bummer. Haruki is such a bummer. She was undoubtedly right, so no one could argue back. Mina. また今度、ね。She saved me. どうして止めちゃったの？何を？せっかく確かめるチャンスだったのに、北原さんの隣の部屋に誰がいるのか。Oh man. 先週、もう確かめたよ。誰もいなかった。そんなの示し合わせてたに決まってんじゃん。週末に刹那が来ることは分かりきってるんだもん。<笑>それに、この件に関してはさ、刹那の判断は全然当てにならないの。どうしてかなだって刹那。絶対に手加減してる彼が言ったことをどれだけ怪しくても信じようとする本当のことを知りたくなくて耳を塞ぐそんなことないよもしかしたら隣からトーマカズサが出てきてもわあ久しぶりだねーで済ませてしまうかも<笑> Oh no it's so true why is it so true それの何が悪いのよカズさんに会えたら嬉しいに決まってるじゃないいいわけないでしょあなたたちもう婚約してるんだよそれって人としてやっちゃいけないことでしょもうなんでそんな嫌なことばかり言うのかな私たち三人のこと何も知らないくせに私だってトーマカズさんのこと嫌いじゃないよもちろん北原先輩だって三人の一番のファンだって自負してるどもただ三人の中で誰が一番かって聞かれたらボーカルの子って答えるだけありがとう That's kind. That's a、nice、thing to say. 私さ刹那と北原先輩のこと反対してるわけじゃないただ、刹那に幸せになってほしいだけだよ。She just wants her best friend not to be cheated on. I don't think that's so much to ask. ごめんね、とも。でも、ハルキ君なら大丈夫だよ。きっと。刹<笑>那が彼のことで絶対って言わないのって、かなり久しぶりなんだけどね。
おかえり And we are back. We made it back to the apartment without anything crazy happening. So, I don't know. I would say that's a win, but like, to who? <laughs> so, we'll stop off there for now. Thank you so much for being here with me on this episode of Coda, and I'll be back with more content shortly. Until then, hope you take care. See you!